part two to my video. Oh, sorry, how to be goth if you're poor. So sorry that I had to split this into two. Oh, as I mentioned in the first part of this video, uh, a big thing for me was Halloween. Some of these comments that I'm going to read to you might repeat, but I'm just going to read them as they are. They might repeat what I say, but I'm saying mine first because of my video. Anyway, um, what I used to do is I would get costume, makeup, um, nail polish, things like that. Nowadays, again, since things are easier to find, you don't have to stoop so low, but a good thing is to go sales or Halloween. Um, you can find like Halloween gowns, things like that. They might be a little bit costly, but some stuff like if it has a cape with it, you can just remove the cape or wear the gloves with many different outfits. Uh, use a skirt separately or cut it in half or you, you can mix and match odds and ends. You can do a lot of stuff with it or you can even leave it as is. I never left anything as is even when I did buy it from Hot Topic because you don't want to wear like a complete set. You want to mix and match and make it your own. You've got to make it your own regardless of what you do. That's the key to everything. Make it your own. Um, but I would definitely recommend checking into Halloween costumes. Make sure they don't look very cheap and very tacky though. Try to get something of a better quality. I also would go to, um, uh, there was a shop. I don't remember what it was called in the mall. Rave? Hot Rave or something? I don't know. Um, there were a couple of shops in the mall that were totally not goth. They were just kind of like prissy, girly shops. And I would I would find stuff there that I would make goth or make look goth and I cannot sew to save my life. So nothing that I would give you tips on would involve sewing because I can't sew. My sewing is safety pins and glue guns. Um, but like for instance, I bought this dress there and it's like a, a, I'll probably put a picture of it here. But it's got the spaghetti straps and it's got like a veily thing, but it's a dressy dress. It's not a gothy dress, but I pair it with my style, you know, this part and with boots. And if you put, put it with like garter belts or tights or something, you can make it look gothy. You can pretty much go into any store or thrift shop or whatever, find something pair it with something of yours, your own look, just having your own look, your own style, do something different with your hair, hair chalks or, or a good wig, or just changing your makeup slightly, anything, make it your own. And you could make even the plainest outfit pretty much look alternative. It, it works. It's what I've done because when I got started, I really didn't have any money at all. I, I was lucky if I got one thing from Hot Topic, like one thing every six months. If I was lucky, maybe once a year, I reused a lot of stuff. I went to a lot of thrift shops and I got most of my stuff there, some Halloween costumes. And yeah, when you have a, a, a gothy looking persona, people don't as much question when you're wearing like a Halloween costume as they would if you looked normal walking around with a Halloween costume, if that makes any sense. Um, you can find cheap makeup at Walmart, you know, just black or black and glitter or whatever. Just try some of my smudging techniques. I mean, it doesn't take a lot, but you've got to find what you're comfortable with. You might not be comfortable with a lot of makeup. You might want to take it slowly, but please do not ever base it on money or age or what somebody else says you can't do. Those are the three rules that I would suggest to you. Don't let anybody tell you it takes a lot of money. Don't let anybody tell you you're too old or you're too young and don't let anybody tell you it's not something that you should do because it's uncool. If it's what you want to do, then do it. It's your life. You're the only one living it. So on to the comments here. Suggestions from my friends. Rebecca says, going shopping a day after Halloween and getting all the decorations, makeup, accessories on sale and adding them to your wardrobe is her tip. That is something I used to do when... I was in a country with Halloween. Cody says, dollar store Halloween decorations. They can sometimes look pretty nifty. Same with accessories and eBay. You can find a lot of really cool stuff on eBay for super cheap if you're willing to search a little and wait a couple of weeks for it to come from China. 
Also Depop. Depop is a good site where you can buy some stuff from people um, around the world. It's an app that you download for your phone. Jackie says charity shops are brilliant for clothes and soft furnishings just buy fabric dye and customize them. Katie says Amazon do cheap clothing with skulls on them. Beth says Pinterest and YouTube tutorials and thrift stores. Learning how to knit and crochet is handy too. You can make a sick mesh style sweater with crochet. Black dyes are a lifesaver. Fabric paints, iron on anything. Studs and spikes are pretty cheap buys online too. Scissors are your friend. Also some of my first gothy pieces were actually parts of old costumes. My first corset was from the top of an old witch costume, which is just another reason to raid the Halloween section the day after as well. As previously mentioned decor, as far as makeup goes, you can get really cheap quality makeup from Amazon if you know what you're doing. Or if you're really, really tight on money, a tub of chapstick, some q-tips, and just one container black eyeshadow can do the trick. Halloween fabrics at sewing shops, repurposed items like wine bottles, mason jars, candlesticks can be made into gothy decor as well. When I was younger, I used to use food coloring as temporary washout dye for funky colors. You can also use Kool-Aid. Um, I still do it sometimes when I have my blonde streak for color. You use toothbrush to brush in the color and blow dry it. It's non-toxic, and if you like to change your hair as much as I do, it works great. Anna says, DIYing for decoration, super easy, super cheap. I always buy my decor at places like the warehouse because our style isn't really popular, but they do cater to it a certain extent. So it's always it always goes on sale. Clothes are really good off AliExpress. You can get quite a good range of sizes for so cheap, as long as you don't search goth, more like bats or skulls or spikes spiders, etc. Ash also says DIY, black clothing dye. Used to buy clothes from the thrift store like slips and whatnot and dye them and add things to them with the sewing machine. Nikki says I buy clothes from China or thrift stores. Got some nice platform, platform boots off that Wish app. Danny says to goth things up for me I take things I find at Goodwill or even stuff that I don't use anymore and I'll paint them and goth them up. And then she showed a picture of a 20, 20 gallon fish tank some battery-operated candles, fake flowers, and the vases or bottles are painted black. The skulls are tea light candle holders. Put some fake rose petals on the bottom, set it all up. Put some fairy light shaped as skulls, and there you go. And it looked pretty cool. Natasha says you can find some really cool gothic jewelry on eBay for like under $3. Annalise says getting cheap Halloween stuff right after Halloween and using it all year. Cheap Asian clothing sites like wholesale buying as well are good. So as you can see, there are many many ways that you can look around and find ways to do what you want to do to help your style out to help decorate your house or whatever and it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg um, if you are bigger it might be a bit harder but you can still find stuff it just takes a lot of looking just don't give up don't let money get in the way of you being goth if that's what is getting in your way. Um, I will add some of the links I was given here as well and hope that these two videos helped answer some questions and helped give you guys some tips. I mean there's really not too much to it. You don't need to go to the big expensive shops. You can do stuff yourself. It just takes a bit of learning how to mix and match and just again to be comfortable and confident enough to make it your own without being too scared because in the end it's all about having fun and just being yourself, right? Um, I hope this helped and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next video.